Greetings and salutations, welcome back to another tutorial, it's me James, the BA Sensei, and today we're going to be looking at mergers. We've all seen mergers, and we've done the plain and simple ones in Power Query. If you haven't, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then we have more dynamic mergers that takes consideration changes in columns. So let's quickly start by introducing a normal merge. So we've got two columns, or two data sets here, we've got a sales uh, data set here, which is the fact. Um, and then we want to connect that, you can see that we have a product ID, we want to connect that to the product table and bring back the product um, category, product name. So how do we do that? So we go into Power Query. First thing we do is we say merge query, we're going to say merge is new, just to create a new query. We're going to say take the sales fact, product ID is our foreign key, we want to link it to our product, dim product, and we say yes on the product ID, yes and then it brings back it's a bring back expand that and then we're going to say close and load bring it back over there excellent but now the problem is if i add a new column here column four and i add more data there and i refresh this it doesn't really bring the consideration this status i don't want that in there if i delete these two columns columns and I refresh it doesn't really consider that it just doesn't know what to do with status okay cool so how do we do a dynamic one so let's head on over to power query so what we say is I'm just going to duplicate this baby just to show that in principle so we're going to say let's call this dynamic merge dynamic merge okay so in here we're going to do the same thing we're going to say merge and we want to merge this one to the product based on that code we say excellent but now before we go on I want to quickly show you you see this little item there is an actual Excel table object in each one of these rows and basically gives you the other table we want to dynamically identify those rows just another thing if I then go and I expand here let's I expand there you can see in this step what it does it basically hard codes the the two values I'm adding the two columns I'm adding so if we find a way to take this hard coding away and make it dynamic that's the way we're going to do dynamic merging so what, what we'll do is we'll go into merge and I'm just going to click on before we do the expand we delete the expand I go into the table click there it's going to open this table up we're going to use two new functions I haven't showed you before the first function is called table column names it basically returns a list of column names once we have that, so I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So we're going to take this, we expand it into product dim. Now we're just going to look at the inquiry. Then we're going to say table dot column names. Close it up. Cool. So now we basically have that. But we don't want to bring back that key. So dynamically, this is how we will identify that list. We don't want to bring back that product ID. So what we're going to use is another function called list.skip to skip the n number at the top so what we'll do is I'll just say in here I'll say list because it's a list skip the first character cool so now you have the, the, the columns dynamically added so I'm going to copy this we can kill this step over here we're going to do a normal expand and then you see in this code over here instead of us giving it a hard-coded list I'm just gonna paste that other code in there check how cool that is and now I'm gonna return that data to X I'm gonna say table I'm gonna put it into over there and say okay just check this out now so now Let's say we add a column. We call this status three, and we say you, 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 you. And now, if we're going to refresh, just check this out. It's got the status in there. Isn't that cool? If I let's say I rename this category to something else, let's call that category Z Z Z. See, in this table, the traditional one, we didn't pick it up. We say refresh. You can see it's renaming it to column ZZZ. This one simply doesn't know what to do with it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do a, 
an even more advanced dynamic merge.